kitchen cabinets can make your kitchen look like new and save you lots of money. Hi, I'm Tim Carter, and painting cabinets isn't that hard to do. I want to show you some secret skills that will let you get the job done quickly with professional results. The first thing you need are some tools and supplies. You might already own some of these common tools. Make sure the paintbrush you use is the highest quality. Inexpensive paintbrushes are a hassle. Take a moment and read the label on the paints you will use. I guarantee you it will say to apply the paint to a clean, dry surface. To be able to get to all surfaces that need the paint, be sure to remove all hardware and take the doors off the cabinets to make the cleaning and painting job easier. You can use one of these screwdrivers to take the cabinet hardware off, but I'm a power freak. You're no kidding. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Here's a quick tip about taking the cabinet hardware off. Always take the lower hinges off first because that creates less stress on the door. If you take the top hinge off, what's going to happen? The door could actually fall away from the frame and you could either break the door or you can bend one of the hinges. Use that tool to get the bottom hinge off first. Wash the surfaces to be painted with mild soap and water to remove all the dirt and grease. Rinse with clear water and dry the surfaces. That old glossy finish on the cabinets needs to be roughed up for the new paint to stick well. You can use a sander, but that creates all sorts of messy dust. I prefer to use dust-free liquid deglossers. Once applied, you can usually start to paint in 10 minutes. Apply the primer to all surfaces. You can often leave plates in the cabinets as the inside of the cabinets do not usually have to be painted. The primer will not cover dark wood in one coat. Don't worry about that. To eliminate those brush strokes, always make the final stroke towards the area just painted and lightly lift the brush off the paint. If the paint is hard to work with and seems sticky, you can add a product that makes the paint slippery and easy to use. When painting doors with raised panels, paint the raised panel first, working from the inside to the outer edges. Paint the door frame last and check the other side to look for large globs of paint. Smooth out those and let the primer dry. Try to paint the finish coat as soon as the primer is dry to the touch or the minimum amount of time has passed. The finish paint will bond much better if the primer is fresh. I prefer gloss finish paint for cabinets as it is easier to keep clean. Thin coats of paint are always better than one single thick layer. You may have to apply one coat of primer and two coats of finish paint to make the cabinets look great. Oh. Check it out! What do you think about this nice color? Oh, I know what you're thinking. That maybe it's the fluffy side of Ask the Builder. Well, maybe you're right. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. 